Did you sleep in your undies? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Nothing I had seen before, mister. What are you doing? Uh, we stole a, a... a what's it, and I'm in the army. You weren't that bothered last night, soldier boy. Yeah, well, I wasn't thinking with my head last night, was I? Come on, drive us home. Well, stay in bed. No, it's not a bed, it's just a, a piece of plywood with a lumpy old cushion on it. Yeah, but it's better than anything you'll get in the desert. As is this. Oh, don't do this to me, you're messing with my head, man. It's not your head I'm interested in, darling. Where's the fire? Kylie, a bed I've been slept in. Do you want a coffee? I can't believe she ain't here. She said she was having an early night. I do love caffeine first thing on the morning. That and the ciggy. Helps clear your tubes out. I don't think you get what I'm saying here, Liz. Today is Kylie's big day. The court case. I oh, know, I do live here. I cannot afford for her to screw this up. We have to be there at one, so where is she, Liz? Tell you what, I'll bob out with crystal ball. She told me she was trying to turn her life round, so why, why, why would she do this? Maybe she's just gone out for fags or something. Yeah, right. I will kill her. <sighs> Come on, Asha, chop, chop. We're trying for the world record this from bedroom to school in 18 minutes. I want to stay off mm. like I did. Well, you can't. I'm sorry, darling. Uh, Andy, he's uh, staying in bed, honey. He's not been 100% yet. I'm not 100%. <laughs> There's no copping out of it today. Yeah, and listen, perhaps later I could take you to the um, pictures. To see what? Uh, oh. <laughs> so, you're well enough for the cinema, huh? Right. Come on. Please, eat. Oh, and, uh, honey, listen, I've signed the form for Ardy's farm trip and give it to Asha to take in and they will definitely need wellies that day. Will there be a camel on the farm? It's Alden, not Dubai. Come on now, I haven't got all day. I'm going to have to see Claire later. I apologise. I want you not to think about it. Come on, eat your humble pie. Go on it till I'm sick. That's if she lets me through the front door. <sighs> you want me to come with you? I'm not being funny, but I think I'll handle this one on my own. Yes. Well, I'm drinking milk. Don't call your teacher's names, Joshua. It's what the other children call that. Well, does that make it right? Come on, Freddy, get your backside into gear, mate. <laughs> Don't forget, you've got to fill in your good behaviour chart tonight, Josh, so there better be no name calling today. Claire, we'll have a think again about what you this said. This lady's about... not returning, Ashley. Why the field's full of too many bad memories. We are selling up and shipping out. <sighs> Josh, what is Freddy doing up there? A poo. Can you take this up to him, please? Oh, I wonder what you're after. Can't want to see a mate, can I? <laughs> Some mate you are. A mate and a colleague. Oh, double the disloyalty then. <sighs> leave it out, Pam. Wish she'd leave you out. Have a life. Oh, only Pam! Oh, hiya. <laughs> Come in. All right, mate. Clearly not just me, cos Kevin's here too. <laughs> now, where's that baby? He's up here with me, Pam. Come up if you like. Oh. I have bought the most beautiful cuddly bunny rabbit. <laughs> Wait till you see it. Hey, I paid for it and all. I've got receipt to prove it. <laughs> can you open the galley sort of tie? I've got to go looking for our sofa. Uh, yes, you can. I'm here now. What's that way? Oh. Still say we should have torched it. <sighs> You're unreal, Mum. Ah, but I love nicking. My auntie Shell was a professional shoplifter. She used to take me and our Becky on these really mad shopping trips. She could roll the whole fur coat up and shove it down in knickers. Now that is talent. Don't the security tags go off when you leave the shop? Not if you know how to do it properly. Might show you one day. Mm. Oh, Gary. What? I don't want this night to end. Yeah, well, it has. It's daylight. Can we go back to yours and get bladdered? No, no, no. Look, I've got to get a shower, get some stuff done, yeah? Right. What happened to you last night? All right, Izzy. Babes, I'm what happened to him last night. Know what I'm saying? Tart. Hey, you cheeky. Who are you calling a tart? In. Oh. I will not stand for that. Look, I'll see you around. All right? All right. Come on, big fella. Let's get going. Do you need a hand? Do you mind? Cheers. She's dog madder. Yeah, it comes from living you all these years. Hilarious, not. Thanks, Kate. You working down the market today? I work there every day. How about a bunk off and give you a hand? Uh, I didn't hear that. I was only joking. I wasn't. <laughs> Will you get into trouble? What's the point in going into school? They don't teach you nothing anyway. It's going to be better for me in the long run if I get some proper work experience. Oh, come on, I'll walk the dog for you. Go on then. As long as you pull your weight. I'm trying to say I'm fat. 
And don't tell your dad. Has it? Do you want some of this? I'm so sorry about the sheets, Norris. Not your fault. I had an attack of the vapours when I woke, convinced I'd wet the bed. <laughs> well. How relieved was I when I realised my hot water bottle burst? It's a rather an odd time of year for a hot water bottle. I'll never forget your kindness last night, Norris. Homelessness is no bed of roses. I know, it's a wet Z bed in Mrs Bishop's parlour. <laughs> if it hasn't dried out before tonight, maybe I might be best off hopping in with you. Norris, I can assure you, when I sleep top to tail with a close friend, I am not a wriggler. <laughs> Gerald said it was like sleeping with a corpse. Uh, Gerald? A former fellow philatelist I was quite pally with in the early part of this century. I do not share my bed with friends. I do not share my bed with anyone, so I don't need references. Perhaps you can bob in with Graham. Can we please change the subject? I I don't want to think about Gerald or Graham today. I've, I've got other fish to fry. A fish called homelessness. Oh, Mary, you must stay positive. It's hard, though, Norris. I've got the feeling you're going to throw me out onto the streets, and then where will I sleep? Under a viaduct with a gazette as an eye down. And I can't see the feeling the boys in blue aren't going to find my motorhome any time soon. And... Maybe they won't have to. The sight of a motor home could give such pleasure. Yes, serious trouble, though, cos why is she answering a phone? What happened? She went out last night and got kill-eyed and stayed with a mate. No, <laughs> she hadn't got any right to be doing that. Hey, now calm down. No, I'm fuming at Liz. Right, but why? The court case. Is it what Kylie wants or what you want? She has got to get to court. This is her last flaming chance. And what good is stomping up and down on the cobbles going to do? Because I might see her. If she's messed up her chances of keeping Max, just because she couldn't face a quiet night in, I will have her. Where is she, Liz? Look what I've got. <laughs> Party time. Wise. Just trying to make sure you enjoy your last days of freedom. I thought you'd have to get back to the pub or something. Gary, anyone would think you're trying to get rid of me? Now get that down your neck. It's a nice breakfast. Mmm. Where'd you get to last night? Uh, just out. Hiya, babes. You look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. <laughs> I was. Can I have a shower, Anna? Do you have a shower? We've got an attachment. Oh, thanks, babe. Anna, I think there's someone at the door. Oh, who are you, President Amenza? Hi, Anna. Oh, how are you, Quinny? Gary, it's Quinny! It's been a dirty stop out with that Kylie piece. Oh, back in the van, No secrets round here while Mum's around, eh? How are you, man? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm like News 24, I'm always switched on. Well, I can see why you go for a bird like that over her in the wheeler. You are so bad, man. It's lovely seeing you two together again. You've got to look after each other, you know. All when right, Mum, you don't have to remind us. I'll keep my eye on him, make sure he behaves himself. Oh, do you know what? What? Can I take your picture? On my phone? No, <laughs> what <are> you like? <laughs> oh, come on, don't be like that. Come on, smile for me. <clears throat> oh, come on, make it a nice one. I want you to smile. Come on. Hey! Oh, look. Going to school. I've got you some. Work. Do you want to borrow it? I believe that's what he nabbed off you, and that's when you fell and hurt yourself. So.
Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. But you say that the police seem unconcerned. Oh, I'm just another meaningless statistic to them. A, a faceless victim in a sea of faceless victims. Well, I, I, I suppose it's been returned. There's very little damage. And, and amazingly, they, they've left the keys inside. The police being heartless, I can just about stomach. But you, Norris... <sighs> At least you've got it by. Let, let, let's just be grateful. You've seen the state of my bed, Norris. That bed was my sanctuary. I feel abused. I really do. Morning. Oh, morning. <laughs> uh. yeah, well, a bit early for that, innit? Make the most of it, mate. Don't suppose there'll be a free bar in Afghanistan? Mum got dead upset, didn't she? Can't blame her. You should see the state of my mum. Yeah, I know. She's struggling with me, brother. I bet she is. Quinny. What? Will you do me a favour? What? If anything happens to me. Oh, don't, Gary. If I die. Gary. Will you tell them? Mum and Dad. Tell them what happened, yeah, face to face. Of course. But on one condition. What's that? You do the same for me. Deal. Deal. Hey, girl. She's off her head, that one. Yeah, she's a floater, you know. One of the ones you can't get rid of. Crack us open another beer, babes. <sighs> what am I doing? I'll drink this and I'll get off. Leave you two to some sexy time. Save me from it, save me from it. Hey, girls. Hey, boys. Superstar DJs. Here we go. The dogs are going to eat in the lap of luxury tonight now, aren't they? I don't think we know. We all have had dogs, that's why it's worth going the extra mile for them. Cheers. <laughs> First sale. You're a natural. You're yeah, alert from the master. At this rate, I'm going to pay you a day's wages. I'm having a ball. Should I take Michael for a little walk? Oh, don't leave me. All right, then in a bit. Yeah, can you get us a cake or something? Yeah, right there. Can I have a look? No news then. Clock's ticking and she ain't here. Look, I know she's your sister and everything, but she is one piece of work. Oh, tell me about it. I'm a sister, not a mother. How dare she make me feel like this? But that's a problem, you see. We didn't have a mum. Well, no, there was a woman what gave birth to us, obviously, but she was never, like, there. And even if she was, her mind wasn't. Oh, Stevie. All I've ever wanted was a family, a proper family. You've got a family, love. You've got us. Uh, poor little Max is going to be slammed into care now, and he could have been here with us. Look, Becky, why don't you go and get changed? Because she still might turn up. And if she does, we'll have to get to that court as soon as possible. Come on, still a chance. I'm thick, right? I'm as thick as this bar. But if there's one thing I've got a degree in, it's a... Uh... And she ain't coming. I'll keep calling her, then. Take her awake anyway. So, you know, time is of the essence, so give us a call ASAP. Thank you, Kylie. Do you think she knows what ASAP means? <sighs> She's not an idiot. Is she not? I think she does have a brain, all right, map the size of a pea, but people who live in glass houses. She's taking you for idiots. She's taking me for an idiot. I give her a roof over her head. All she does is cause heartache. Oh, she's only a kid, Mum. Yeah, well, I was a kid once. I didn't behave like that. Well, you had a better start in life than Kylie. Oh! I wasn't exactly born with a silver spoon in my mouth, was I? We didn't have a pot to spit in. And me downs and leftovers was all we had. He had love. One thing I did have was pride. And where's hers? And where's yours? While she's running rings around you. I know, I know. Look, she only stayed out for one night. I don't like seeing you like this. Well, I'm all right. It's Becky that's upset. Oh, it's all this grief. None of us can relax in our own home. Well, just give her a break, especially in front of Becky. Gee, why worry about? Well, don't. 
I suppose I did have love. And knits? Knits are only attracted to clean hair, Steve, which is why you never have them. I suppose there are some people who don't appreciate having a proper family in that. Me? Me. I've not told you my news, have I? What's that? Moving into your street at the weekend. You're joking? No. Do you know my dad's taking over that building shard down the corner from yours? Well, moving into the flat that goes with it. Cool. Yeah. Just you and your dad? Yeah. My mum walked out on us and that when I was little, so... My dad's brought us up, really. Why did she walk out? Because she won't tell anyone. She couldn't cope with her, is it? You know, with the, like, being in a wheelchair and that. That's bad, though. No? Silly cow. Still, at least your dad was around. He never let you down. This cake's minging, innit? <laughs> He's asleep. <laughs> Bless him. Hey, you're a natural arm, Molly. Oh, I don't know if I'm coming or going. Well, that's why I'm here, my dear. Thank you, Auntie Pam. What? Tyrone seems to bonded with him. Of course he has. He's his dad. Is he? Pam, please. I'm only saying. Well, don't. You know, I put that Jeremy Kyle on some mornings. Oh, I turn into a right snob. Folks making a mess of their lives. DNA tests. Pam. You know, girls who in the heat of the moment say to the fellas, Ebby's not yours. Fellas get upset and drag them on national telly. Yeah, well, I won't say anything like that. And I sit there in judgment. How can folks live their lives like that, eh? And then I come in here. Well, I won't. Tread carefully, Molly, lover. You're messing with people's hearts now. Hearts is fragile things. Um, Jack gave us five grand the other day. The baby. Well, he gave it to Tyrone. So Tyrone's bought his way on to birth certificate. I didn't say that. Birmingham. I don't want my kids talking funny. <laughs> uh, pot, kettle black, Ashley Peacock. I love the Birmingham accent. It's really sing-song. <laughs> hey, what about the Highlands of Scotland? Oh, I've not got legs for the kilt. Yes, you have. You've got a very manly calf. I have always loved the sound of octonocty. <laughs> oh, you think it might be a bit of a culture shock for kids from Weatherfield to somewhere in the middle of nowhere? I just want to get as far away from here as possible. But we are not moving to London. My mum went to London once and they served her cold avocado soup. Ugh. Claire. Hey, Claire. Right. I was just wondering whether you wanted to go for a coffee. A coffee? Or a tea. All right. A nice cup of PG and everything's fine. Never mind the fact that you accuse me of hospitalising your child. Claire, I've come to apologise. Yeah, I should hope you have. Do you know what? I must be mad because I thought we were friends. More fool me to think I could make decent friends around here on my own street. Claire, don't upset yourself. I've not upset me, Ashley. She has. And I'm truly sorry. And if I could turn the clock back, I really, really... Do you would. know what really stinks, Anita? We were in an impossible situation. Is that I'll never escape? From what? The stigma of mental illness. Okay. The fact that once upon a time, I had a baby and I got postnatal depression and I did things that I regret. I really regret. But that'll never leave me. Not around here, anyway. None of us think you are. See? You can't even say the words. Mentally... I'm not! I was, but I'm not anymore. Sunita, if you broke your leg four years ago, is it still broke now? No, of course not. But once I break down, always a breakdown. And that's why I've got to get out of this tiny street with its tiny minds with people that never forget. So you're moving house? I'm getting away from you. And people like you who don't give second chances. See what you've started? No, if you don't mind, I've got ironing to do. So unless you want to make an offer on the house, then you might as well get out. So you're serious about moving then? I have never been more serious about anything in my whole life. Well, apart from when I said I didn't harm your son. Claire, I hate seeing you like this. No, Sunita, you hate feeling guilty. Deal with it. Please, Ashley. Just go. Go on, you heard what she said. Oh, no, it is lovely. Where did you get it from? Oh, Mark, here, on here. 
Right, I have just got off the phone with the courts oh, and I've managed to get the hearing put back a bit. Oh, Stevie, you are a pig in star, what are you? Ah, uh, yeah, I take it you've not heard from me yet. No, but that don't matter now. Because, you see, Max belongs with his family, right? And uh, don't be too hard on her. Anything could have happened, and not with a bunch of strangers. Yeah, so you keep saying. Foster parents are not monsters, you know. No, I never said that they were, but they ain't his flesh and blood. He needs me, right? Just as much as I need to bring him home here, because this is where Max belongs. And his mum might have let him down, but his Auntie Becky ain't gonna. I just hope that Kylie's OK. It's not really up to you, though, is it? I mean... Not a lot you can do now. Oh, darling, you're breaking my hand. So what do you expect me to do all day then, Stevie? You just want me to sit round here twiddling my thumbs? I can't. I haven't got a choice. I've got to go to that court and I have to get Max back. Yeah, well, they're not going to give him you. Is yes, it? they will. Becky. They will if I say that I'm Kylie. What, are you going to pass yourself off as Kylie? Yeah. You're mad. Well, maybe I am, but I ain't got hope to lose, have I? And Coronation Street's back in half an hour.